over 900 foot-pounds of torque right from the start. It's got a 0 to 60 acceleration at the mid 3 second range. Introducing the all-electric 4x4 Electruck P260 by Paradisa City Motors. It's the most intelligent, most advanced, toughest, hardest working, most efficient, earth-loving truck to roam this planet. Brick built for an experience that's more connected, more adventurous, and more dynamic than any a truck you've ever experienced before. It's got enough power to power your zombie apocalypse log cabin for a week. With its highly advanced solid state batteries and dual action super capacitors, say nope to Texas freezing winter power outages. It's got 24 outlets to power your work gear and enough juice to keep your mobile taco food truck running. Now, It'll handle five of them at the same time. And it's got over two by three by two brick liters of frunk space to carry all your tools. It's fully autonomous driving is the stuff of legends. With machine learning, vehicle to vehicle, ultra 5G communications, and intelligent active scanning cameras and radar that could fly a deep freeze Defender class spaceship. And when you need to drive the old fashioned way out on the rugged work site, simply switch it to intelligent four x four drive mode on the class leading 2x2 square touchscreen monitor. You can even voice command remotely from your phone for it to go pick up the doggo from herding a herd of chickens in a pasture three miles away. It'll even make friends with a farm tractor. And to top it all off, it has available towing capacity of 12,000 pounds. It's the only truck built tough. Lego tough. It's the all new Electruck B260. All right, all right, all right. Greetings, my fellow squishy blobs of earth dirt. My name's Hans, father of this indoor rainforest, obsessed with teal bricks, master creator of Lego trucks, and of course, berserk for Legos. Today, we're gonna introduce four full-size pickup truck mocks and one compact truck mock. So put on your rugged work boots and your overly abused, ripped in the knees jeans, because in this video, we're gonna put your imagination to work. But first, the origin story. All right, back to my regular voice. So let me start off by saying that three weeks ago, Ford just unveiled the F-150 Lightning pickup truck. It's their first all electric truck, and it is a big deal. And one of their YouTube videos, which is an advertisement on the new Ford F-150, is pretty awesome. Definitely recommend you guys go watch it. You'll see that I used that particular advertisement video by them as direct inspiration for the whole intro that I made for this video. And I gotta say that a little bit of inspiration from their video was pretty awesome. I just love the idea of including it in a video about my Lego trucks and it was a bit of a pain to have to film all those little different uh, shots and, and create all those little scenes but I think in the end I'm, I'm really glad that I did it. So for any of you guys who are new to my channel you'll probably want to know that I am planning to build a Lego City. I've kind of got like a, a little bit of a mock-up of my Lego City going on and I have a video on that but that's more of a sneak peek on that but I'm planning on building it into a much bigger, expansive city. But what you want to know is that Paradisa City is a tropical city set in the future in the year 2060. And I am basically taking all the different ideas on technology and what the future could be like in just 40 years from now and implementing those into my Paradisa City. And electric vehicles is one of them. And of course, I do in real life pay attention to the technology and the progress of electric vehicles. So when Ford unveiled the F-150 Lightning, it's a really big deal. Yeah, for a couple of reasons. The number one reason is that the Ford F-150 isn't just the number one selling truck in America. It's the number one selling vehicle, period, in America. It outsells every car and truck. And for people who are excited about electric cars being a part of the future, having a viable electric truck solution for that market is a huge step in the right direction going towards an electric vehicle future. Now, I created this electric truck mock last summer, and I've been wanting to do a video on it for quite some time, and I even sneak peeked it in one of my older videos. But when Ford unveiled the F-150 Lightning, I immediately knew that this was a chance to jump on that bandwagon and do my own video on my Lego truck mocks. Now, in real life, I'm a car guy. Like, I like all forms of cars, but more specifically, I am a sports car kind of guy. I really love two-door, fastback-style sports cars. Very compact, small, zippy, and zoomy. 
and if roads weren't so congested nowadays and I lived out in the mountains, uh, I would I would just be carving mountain roads all the time. However, I am very familiar with full-size pickup trucks. I grew up in the rural mountains in California as a kid. I'm quite well versed in trucks and even driving trucks on windy dirt mountainous roads. Now, I do want to say that Ford isn't the first one to present an electric pickup truck concept. So I do want to give some honorable mentions to obviously the Tesla Cybertruck. That thing is crazy looking. It's cool, but it's, it's also really crazy looking. And you know, for the people who like the, that sort of craziness or don't mind going that far outside of the norms when it comes to pickup trucks, that's a pretty amazing truck. That thing, I mean, it's got dent proof steel. It's got bulletproof glass. And, and of course the power that it's gonna have is definitely gonna be on par with what Tesla normally offers. Now the other electric pickup truck is by a startup called Rivian and they've got an awesome concept. It looks to be more of a mid-sized truck and it's a good looking little truck it's got some styling that reminds me of a an international harvester scout kind of feel to it it's very modern but it still has the classic truck shape and i think they were the first one to unveil an electric truck and i'm really rooting for those guys and they also have an suv version of their rivian r1 truck as well another reason last summer i wanted to create my own full-size pickup truck mock is because I've never been quite satisfied with the trucks that we get in a lot of the Lego city sets. And a good chunk of them, a good majority of them, are actually four stud wide trucks. A lot of the six wide trucks are in a lot of the police sets that have the bad guys. They kind of got these old-fashioned trucks that are kind of hot routed up. So those didn't quite fit what I was looking for. And a lot of the modern looking six wide trucks that Lego has done, Lego has done about four or five really good examples, usually have a special specialized rear bed on them. So I was really looking for just a clean, pure, full-size Lego pickup truck. So I ended up just creating my own. This guy, the bed was too short on it, so I ended up lengthening it. All right, let's talk about the compact pickup truck that I completely remocked. This used to be a four stud wide truck from set number 7747, wind turbine transport. And of course, like many of the four stud wide trucks that Lego has made, it was just kind of goofy looking. I think the biggest problem that I always had was the rear end. We're always just kind of like these short, stunted truck beds. The other thing I really dislike was the that combination of wheel fender and of those truck tires. I hated the fact that they stuck way outside of the vehicle. And when you look down on top of the vehicle, it just looked utterly ridiculous how far the wheels stuck out from the side of the cars. So last summer I wanted to remock this and I did, and I'm really happy with the end result. Now, one thing you should know is that I have my own protocols of scale for all my Lego vehicles from small compact cars, all the way up to big diesel trucks, trains. If you want to see more, I definitely recommend go watch my video on on my tram bus. It's where I did a remock of the tram from the city square set. But I also talk about my protocols of scale and, and what scale of vehicle will be for, for all the different types of vehicles. So this is a compact truck. It's a city truck. It uses the smaller car size wheels, but I'm using the, the truck tires. And I also have a protocols of scale when it comes to tires as well. And I definitely recommend go watch my Palace Cinema limo video. The bed used to be four studs wide and I've now made it six studs wide. And you can see instead of the wall elements being the side panel of the truck I've actually made it a solid one stud wide truck sides to the bed and so what this truck is in the wind turbine transport set this is the wide load safety truck that basically follows along behind it and lets other drivers know that the transport truck in front of it is carrying an, an extra large load to use extra caution and if need be these guys will help to shut down traffic so that the transport truck can make special crazy maneuvers around corners and navigate through tricky road situations I also switched to the short fenders which I call these the truck fenders however this is the first time I've noticed that these type of tires actually rub on this fender on the longer fenders that wrap all the way around that are more for cars they actually don't rub but I was a little bit surprised I actually just recently converted these fenders over because I wanted to give it more of a truck look so this type of compact truck is in my mind is more of a Volkswagen caddy type truck which they sell in Europe the first generation they sold here in America but and and that was it uh, Europe has always had all the different generations and evolutions of the Volkswagen Caddy truck. Another thing I like to do is to have the third brake light up here, but I also add two round transparent yellow tiles to be bed lights so that it illuminates the back of the truck when they're using it. And I really like the style that I created for the front end of this truck, which is these round headlights, angular bumpers. And if you're new to my channel and because 
All my vehicles are for the future in the year 2060. This is the autonomous driving sensors, which includes the cameras, the radars, as well as the 5G communications for vehicle to vehicle communication, as well as vehicle to city traffic manager communications. Of course, all vehicles in the future are gonna have large touch screens in there. Even though the truck can drive autonomously, because of its specialized use purpose, it also has the capability of being driven manually. I've got double seats in there. Another one of my favorite features is the wheel arches on the inside. I like using that roof tile brick to give a really clean look over the inside wheel arch. And that's actually become one of my protocols is that I do my, all my truck fenders just like that. Okay, 60231 Fire Chief Response Truck. Now this truck right out of the box was already pretty amazing. I think they did a great job on the cab and the rear bed of the truck has just the perfect proportions. So my remocking of this is actually pretty minor. First things you're gonna notice is my protocols of tire scale. I downsize the tires. I don't like these tires because they're way too big. If you stand a minifigure right next to that tire, it goes all the way up to the shoulder. And in real life, a tire that goes all the way up to the shoulder of a full adult person is, you know, something they would see on a giant excavator or something. And minifigures are already kind of stunted in their height already as it is. And these tires are just not proportional to full-size trucks. So almost all the time, what I do is I do the wheel conversion and get rid of these wheels and swap it over to these size wheels. Now, I'm not a big fan of these tires. For one, they're too wide and they stick out a little bit too much from the outside of the truck. And the other thing is that they have a really large rim and a very thin tire. So I thought I'd give this an opportunity to give a shout out to Lego and say, hey, stop making this wheel and let's design a new wheel. It looks identical to this, but the diameter is slightly larger. The rim diameter would be slightly between this diameter and that diameter. And the width would be a little bit wider than this, but a little bit narrower than this. And it would use this style of tire tread. All right, and my other standard remock mods that I do to a lot of my vehicles, I'm using the trans-neon yellow headlights and I've got the autonomous driving sensor right there on the front. And of course, since electric vehicles don't need a grill grill, I've decided to remock the grill so that it is electric grill style. And I've also done mods to the interior cab. I usually have to restructure the bottom down here in order to sink the floor down one more plate so that I can fit the seats in there. And then I also move the driver to the side of the truck so I've got the touch screen right there, which already came with the truck. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think it looks a lot better, better proportional wheels. And the fact that Lego already kind of did a really great job with this truck in the first place, my remock mods were pretty minor. And now 60148, the ATV race team truck. Yeah. So this is another truck that I think Lego did a really good job, especially with the cab. What I didn't like was the eight studs wide in the back. So again, the first things I did was I did my wheel conversion. I've now got the right size wheels on this truck. I gave it the electric truck grill, and I love using these ingot pieces for an aggressive truck look and feel to it, but it's still at the same time, it's no longer something that lets air into the front of the truck, which is very inefficient for electric vehicles. I've got my autonomous driving sensor, and I love the look of the black with the trans neon yellow lights. That looks amazing. I gave it some futuristic side mirrors right there. And of course I did my usual cab conversion on the inside, which is I can get the seats in there so I can move the driver to the driver's side and get the touch screen in there as well. Moving over to the back. So eight studs wide at the back, which is what the original truck had, is just too much for my protocols of scale. At eight studs wide, that is what I think trains should be. In fact, the existing Lego trains are only six studs wide. So it makes zero sense to me that a truck would have a bed that is eight studs wide when a train is six studs wide. Talk about out of proportion. So what I did was I'm just using some brackets and tiles on the side there. And of course it's just a smidge over seven studs wide. I think it looks a lot better. However, the disadvantage to what I did was that the ATV doesn't quite fit properly in the back there. And it also, if you notice, the ATV has a different set of wheels on there. And these are my standard wheels for ATVs and not what the ones that Lego puts on. I think those are just too ginormous. And back here, you've got the third brake light along with the bed lights. I've also adjusted the tow hitch. I have a protocol for the exact height for a tow hitch on all my trucks, which is usually in line with the axle. And then I also tuck it in further. So again, this is not a standard pickup truck bed. What I think the Lego designer did do right was that the bed is eight studs long, which is exactly what the fire truck is. That to me is, is a great proportion compared to the cab and the front of the truck. If it was to be six studs wide, uh, we would look stumpy. And I don't see single cab trucks with beds that are that short. If this was a double crew cab, then a six stud long truck bed makes sense. So I definitely think they did pretty good 
on that. So I definitely admit that this wheel arch looks a little goofy, looks kind of silly. Instead of doing the brackets and the tiles on the side here, I may just end up doing a solid brick built bedside and basically it would just be seven studs wide using jumper plates. And then that way that I think the ATV will fit in there better. But all in all, pretty great truck. I really like my Reebok enhanced version of it. I think it looks even better than what it was before. And it was already great to start off with. And here we've got 60182, the pickup and caravan. So this is the truck that comes with that fifth wheel outdoor RV camper. And this was also a really good truck. It came with the ginormous wheels. And of course I did my wheel conversion to it. What I didn't like was the super stumpy back end. So this one, I did a much more extensive remocking to this truck just to lengthen the bed to be the eight studs wide. And I really like how it turned out. I think this truck overall is one stud shorter than the other trucks. And that's because unlike the other trucks, which are using the three stud windshield, which is more sloped, this is the two stud windshield, which is more upright. So now this looks like a proper pickup truck with a proper pickup truck bed. And the front end, I've done my electric futuristic truck modifications to it. And I really liked how adding the one by two ingot tiles vertical gave it this really cool look and actually kind of reminds me of the Rivian R1 electric truck, uh, even though those are vertical lights on the Rivian. I got the trans neon yellow, looks great. And I've got some mirrors over here on the side. And these mirrors are designed to stick out a little bit further because it's towing a trailer. So you need to have the extended mirrors there. And I did my usual modifications to the inside, lowering the floor of the cab, getting the seats in there, and getting the driver over to the driver's side of the truck. All right, and now for the truck bed. So here you can see the tow hitch. I've got it on my standard protocol of tow hitch height off from the ground. And I kept the fifth wheel back here in the back and I added my specialized tailgate to this truck. And now this tailgate I created on my original mock. And on the tailgate, I'm using these one by two by two thirds cheese wedge slopes to give it the tailgate spoiler effect. And that's something that you'll see on the Ford F-150s, which helps reduce air drag. Because what happens is that as air flows over the top of the vehicles, there's sort of this vacuum spot right here in the very back of the truck. It creates sort of a suction. And then what it does is that it pulls in air through here and creates all these vortexes of air behind your vehicle. And what this little dynamic does is that to help reduce air drag from all those little vortices in the back of the truck. And I really like the fact that it's a fully functional tailgate. So yeah, there was a lot more remocking going on with this truck and I'm really happy with the upgrades that I gave it. All right, and this is the truck of the hour. This is my own creation and I am absolutely proud of how it turned out. Now I built this last summer, probably a little over a year ago. And the number one inspiration was just looking at Ford trucks in real life and liking the vertical headlights. The last couple of generations of Ford trucks have these vertical C-shaped headlights on the fronts of their trucks. Now, I couldn't really do the C-shape with the lights themselves, but I really wanted to create a vehicle with a vertical one by two headlight. I don't think it's anything that I've seen Lego do or any of their Lego sets. I haven't really looked to see if anybody else has ever done anything similar on a truck or vehicle having the a completely vertical headlight. So this was the main inspiration. That and the fact that I wanted to create just a good old modern day pickup truck and really fill the gap in having a truck like this that I feel like Lego hasn't really given us. The other thing I like right there underneath the grill is having the secondary lights right there on the inside. I was a little bit disappointed. My original design, I tried to get them up here above the bar, but every little technique that I tried was thwarted by the fact that I would end up having to have a brick that would interfere with the tires. The other thing I love is having the ingot pieces for the tiles, but then also having this black bar wrap right around the top of them and kind of gives it this really cool effect. And I'm using these white brackets. The one thing that you want to know is that uh, whenever you have headlights, using white bricks next to the headlights helps make headlights stand out more. Whereas if you were to use a darker color, actually that darker color kind of rubs off on the headlights and makes them look darker too. So they don't stand out as much. Now, the other thing about this truck is the color. I chose the flame yellowish orange and it is actually part of my rare lego color vehicle series i actually include this as part of my my quest to make lego cars and colors that lego doesn't do very often or not at all so i haven't made a video on that but i will be making a video series that includes all the cars that are in the different colors so i've got light azure i've got dark azure which LEGO only just recently made a sports car in this color. After all these years, it finally took 
took them until 2021 to make a, a Lego car in the dark azure. I've got an SUV in the sand green. I've already given a sneak peek of this before in one of my earlier videos. I've got a four-door sedan in the magenta color, which you'll find in my Lego flatbed tow truck video. I've got a sports car in the light aqua color. I just made this a few days ago, and this is a sports car in the spring yellowish green. And of course, how could I forget, one of my favorite sports car in teal. And other vehicle colors that have yet to be done are the light lavender, the dark tan, the olive green, the light blue, sand blue, the cool yellow, and the dark lavender, the coral, the bright green, the metallic silver, and the metallic gold. So the primary color is flame yellowish orange. Now I know Lego used flame yellowish orange on the whole Jungle Explorer series, but those are specialized vehicles. Even though it fits within the city lineup, they're not really vehicles that you would see driving around in a city itself. So this rare color series that I'm doing, even though Lego has done a few cars in say like the Friends sets or in some of their more specialized series, like the Jungle Explorer, the Volcano Explorers, and even Jurassic Park, you know, you'll find like a sand green vehicle in there. I really want to create more regular city vehicles that everyday people would be driving in these Lego colors. Now Lego has done a lot of the brick red vehicles in their cops and robbers sets. They also seem to like to do the dark earth blue colors quite a bit and maybe even the dark earth green. Now I'm not quite sure on that one but if they have it I'm gonna make one. And of course for some extra color pizzazz I paired the flame yellowish orange with some teal stripes. Another thing that I did was I added these brackets to the front bumper and these are attachment points or say like hooks on the front bumper of a truck for attaching chains. I'm using the trans neon green for lights around the front mirrors. I really like the futuristic look of the wraparound glass from the front window to the back window. And of course, this is something that Lego does quite a lot, where it's just a full wraparound glass, which I forgot to mention. I also did that for my compact truck remock of the wind turbine transport. And this is the mock that I've developed this air spoiler tailgate effect on it. And I like the fact that when you fold down the tailgate, the floor of the truck comes up and meets it quite nicely. Got the nicely finished wheel fenders on the inside there. And I'm using this little bracket to basically represent the power outlets. And this is something that I just added a couple of days ago just for the making of the intro video because of imitating the advertisement on the Ford F-150 Lightning truck. I really like how I did the rear taillights here. So I've got a horizontal taillight as well as a vertical taillight right there. It doesn't really have a rear bumper because of the tow hook and as well as the operation of the tailgate, but I do like having these quarter circle round tiles right there. And of course my standard default interior, which has the seats, it has the steering wheel, and it has the best in class 2x2 touchscreen monitor. Oh, another one of my favorite features is using the quarter circle round tile right here on the side. So that kind of gives the headlight, even though it's a vertical headlight, it also gives it a slight horizontal element. So you kind of see the triangular edge and gives the truck a really cool uh, design aesthetic right there. And that's one of my favorite design elements of this whole truck. I love the front bumper. I love the front grille with the ingots kind of going through the middle of it. I love the vertical headlights and the white C-shaped design right there. So again, Lego hasn't really made a truck that functions quite like this where it's just a good old truck bed. It's got a working tailgate. It's got a eight stud long back end. I can fit a motorcycle in here. I can also get a full size dresser in here. You know, I don't know, somebody's brother painted it this horrible blue color. They wanted to get rid of it. Who's got the truck to haul it away? Yeah, we do. And if you want to go surfing or paddle boarding, it'll fit your surfboards. Throw your wheelbarrow full of your trash in there. All your crates and boxes. Oh, you need to haul away the dishwasher? Yeah, done. Haul away the dishwasher. More crates, dishwasher, garbage can, or maybe you went to the plant store and bought a tree. Yeah, now you can haul your tree. And one of my most favorite features is the frunk, or as Ford Lightning likes to call it, the mega power frunk. And here you can see that I've got three different tools. I've got a crowbar, I've got a saw, and I've got a, a wrench, as well as the larger Lego travel suitcase and they all fit in there with no problem whatsoever. Boom. I was able to get all that into the frunk of the truck. Oh, and guess what? I've also got a frunk on this truck. Now the front hood doesn't pop up all that easily. I just gotta kind of pry it off. But here you can see the full cargo space of the front of the truck. But here you can see you can take a full luggage. I tried to get a second luggage in there and it almost fits, almost. And this one, I've got a laptop as well as a box. And for the fire chief truck, I've got the saw, I've got a crowbar. Um, I also have some binoculars and a ice pick in there. I don't know why he needs an ice pick, but it's in there. 
Should probably get a fire extinguisher in there. <laughs> and I also have a frunk on this little compact pickup truck, but unfortunately it requires me to take off the windshield. But here you can see I've got a full jackhammer in there. And I forgot to mention, you can also get a full-size motorcycle helmet in the front of the trunk. In the front of the frunk. In the front of the frunk. So the next pickup truck that I'm going to make is going to be a quad cab four-door pickup truck, which will then have the shorter six stud long back end. And I'm definitely looking forward to that. Although I am pretty busy with a bunch of my other mocks. I'm still working on the skyscraper apartment building, probably about 70% done with my Grand Emporium. All five floors now have fully finished walls. I'm still working on uh, that one interior detail and I need new parts for it, but I'm really liking how it's turned out. So if you haven't done so already, subscribe, smash the like button, leave some comments, let me know what you guys think of the trucks, what would you do differently, and then go check out the Ford F-150 Lightning advertisement video. Just the way they did the advertisement I thought was incredibly awesome, even if you're not into electric trucks, just that advertisement just was really well done. And I had a ton of fun making my intro to this video, doing a parody on their video. And there you have it guys, I just crammed five trucks into a single video. And then on that note, I'll check you guys later. It's got over 900 foot-pounds of torque right from the start. It's got a 0 to 60 acceleration at the mid 3 second range. Introducing the all-electric 4x4 Elect Truck P260 by Paradisa City Motors. It's the most intelligent, most advanced, toughest, hardest working, most efficient, earth-loving truck to roam this planet.